Hey, it's me, and today we're going to be building a 3D printed bomb drop for this RC plane. So, I have the print right here. It's just a little bomb, and this box, which is going to have a piece of paper on it, locked in by a servo. The servo will move out of the way, and the paper will flop down, and this will drop out of it. So I should also be able to use water balloons and rocks, I don't know, golf balls, something else. So I'm going to start attaching the paper to this. So, to start off, I'm going to cut out a piece of paper that's this width, but a little bit longer than the box. So right here at the end I'm going to have it fold over and that's where I'm going to attach it because that way it'll actually want to open when it's like this instead of having it attached here it'll, where it'll try to stay closed. So that just gives it a little bit more reliability I guess. So just get out our trusty hot glue. So just as a test, I'm going to put this in here and hold this down with about what the servo is going to be doing. And it stays in there. I might have to extend the servo arm a little bit, like maybe that one, with, I don't know, cardboard or something, so that it gets more surface area on that. So like that, it's definitely not coming out. Then it releases and let's go. So I'm going to get the servo out. Okay, so the servo is ready. I maybe had to steal this from another project. Just hot glue this onto the side, as usual. Okay, so I got the servo mounted on the side. So now I gotta hook this up to the plane and test out the servo, make sure it's centered and all that stuff. So I'll grab the plane now. Okay, so the plane is on the table. I'm gonna plug this into the receiver. Okay, I got it set up. So, if I turn the dial, let's go. So now I gotta load it up with the little box thingy. Close it. And then we're mid-flight. Turn the dial, drops the bomb. So, now I gotta glue this under the wing or attach it somehow, because I don't know if I'm gonna keep this on forever. So let's flip it over. Okay, I decided on Velcro because Velcro is the definition of structural integrity, but I couldn't find any. So I guess I'll just use hot glue. See if that can hold a water balloon, but so far it seems fine. Flying around, flip the dial, and drops the bomb. So, guess it's time to take it out. See you in the field tomorrow, because right now it's thunderstorming. Okay, so I got the airplane bomb drop ready. Brendan's right here. And we're at the field, so I'm gonna take off 
and test it out just with the normal 3D printed bomb. Then I'm gonna grab some water balloons and have Brennan try and catch it or get splashed. So, let's take off. It's always a struggle. Pretty windy up there, so let's take it a little closer. There we go. Uh oh. Oh! Oh boy! Okay, I'm going to land it now, and we're going to look for the bomb. You mean the water balloon? Okay. So, we had five water balloons left, and all but one of them had a hole in it already. So, I got two ping pong, or, so I got two wiffle balls, just in case Brennan misses the water balloon. So, he has three chances. See how well he does. I'm gonna get all the oh, plane. We're gonna start with the wiffle ball. Oh, that was close. Okay, you can start going in the field now, then. Oh, looks like the thing undid itself. Huh. Oh, landing. I'm trying it again. This time we just have a stick because I need something that's long enough to go across the entire box. That way the servo is holding it down and not just the paper. So it shouldn't fall out this time. So let's take it off and see if it stays in. Cool. Okay, Brennan. Where? Did you get it? No, it was way over there. Oh. Yeah, that's why I had to be farther out. Well, the mechanism was working. It's just uh, power lines. So, I mean, we can't run out of sticks, so I'm just going to get some more. It's making a horrible noise. Brandon, right let's do this quick. Oh. Hey, it landed it though. Did it run out of batteries? Motor fell off, looks like. So, I found what's wrong with it. That's an easy fix though. So, that's all the time I got for this video since this is already a late upload because I was away last week. So, next week, which is not next week because this is a late video, Saturday 7 p.m., I'm gonna make a 3D printed RC sailboat that actually uses wind power because that's pretty cool. I haven't seen that on the internet yet. So, that's the end of this video. Like it if you liked it, subscribe for more, and see ya! I'm hungry, let's go. And you got something on your back. I do.